They say it is the most important meal of the day, but it can be hard to think of new things to drum up for the family for breakfast. Well, that is why Perry Rea and Nitsa Verdugo are here to show us not one, but two easy dishes we can do and add to our breakfast table using some of the amazing extra virgin olive oil from Queen Creek Olive Mill. Oh, welcome back. I absolutely love when you're on. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It How are you? It smells amazing in here. It looks amazing in here. I want to know, Perry, though, what is your favorite breakfast recipe? Uh, frittata. That's why I'm making it. Is. For you. That's what you're making? Well, what do you think I was going to say? <laughs> I'm so I happy. always bring my favorite stuff here, okay? And you know, it's fresh. It, it's, it's springtime. So the zucchini are out, the squash are out. You know, you can, anything in your garden that's just nice and fresh, that's what you want. And it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be these veggies. It can be any, you know, if you feel like peppers or you know, anything that you really, really love that you want to put in a frittata. And a frittata is nothing but. You know, frittata, fried eggs. Yeah. It's kind of an omelet, oh, but a little okay. bit more. My mom used to make this for us all the time. And what you're going to do is you're just going to, olive oil, of course, yes. okay? And you need a little bit of olive oil just because you don't want nothing to stick in this nonstick pan. So, you know, I usually use about a tablespoon, maybe a couple tablespoons. Okay, a little bit of salt and pepper. And then um, the eggs, I have eight eggs in here. Salt, pepper, Parmesan cheese, mm. and a little bit of milk. And just whip it up. Now you're going to want these to cook a little bit, okay? And while these are going, the potatoes are very simple to make. Okay. All you can do is cut the potatoes in half, rosemary, olive oil, salt and pepper, toss them, put them in the oven for about 25 minutes, and then they're ready to go. So I'm just heating these up right now because I made these earlier because we don't have 25 minutes. So, <laughs> so what I'm doing right now, these are just turning. Oh, it smells good. Okay, perfect. Oh. Oh, now what we're going to do is we're going to put the egg in here. I'm really glad you explained what a frittata is because not a lot of people know exactly. They hear frittata, okay, that's something having to do with breakfast, but. Frittata, you know, yeah, frittatas yeah. are, in, and they're very simple to make. They really are. In the name probably gets people a little intimidated, right? So we're letting them know that these are easy things that they can do. Um, and, you know, like you said, fresh veggies, things that you're getting at the farmer's market this time of year, easy. Right, exactly. And of course, uh, are both of these recipes in this uh, wonderful cookbook over here? They are. They're right. They're, they're, that recipe is actually right in that cookbook that you can get at the all, or at the uh, the store in Lancantada. Yes, I love got it. Got the book there. It's got wonderful family recipes for Perry's family. Um, it all is uh, recipes that have extra virgin olive oil, of course, olive oil that Perry makes over at the farm. Uh, but you can find it all at our store. We also have complimentary recipes. So when you come into the store and grab your olive oil, there's always a recipe right next to the olive oil giving you examples of how to use the extra virgin olive oil. I love that. Okay, so we were talking on break. You know, I have several items from the store already. One of them is the rosemary olive oil. We used it on Mother's Day brunch. Everybody there was just freaking out over it. I also have the delicious original balsamic vinegar, which is just amazing. So you have so many different flavors of olive oils and vinegars and things. And do you? Is it true that you have a lemon olive oil? Oh is yes. Because that sounds so interesting yeah. to me. The lem, you know, the lemon olive oil is our best-selling citrus olive oil, and I make those by cr <laughs> crushing fresh lemons with the olives. And you can, you know, it's great if you're sautéing shrimp or you want a lemon chicken, uh, you can drizzle it on your, uh, you can drizzle it on your, uh, your salmon. It's really very, very nice and easy to use. It's one of my shortcut oils. And you can cook with it. Oh, absolutely. It. Absolutely. Because that sounds like the exact thing I want to cook fish in. It is one of our best sellers. In this store, everyone always takes home a Meyer lemon extra virgin olive oil. Very versatile. You could even just add a little bit of aged balsamic. Make oh, a salad make dressing. Yourself a salad. Make, make a yourself salad a salad. Dressing. It's very Perfect. easy. It's very, very easy. And right now, we are featuring our seasonal, um, our seasonal balsamic is our peach white balsamic glaze. That's the one that I put on right? everything, everything at my house. Everything. So what do you pair? Pair the peach and the Meyer lemon. Oh my gosh. Awesome together. That's like oh, the I perfect the... summer combination. Yes. yes. It is. We can do that. Perry, I know we're talking about all these different flavors and everything that you guys have going on. I also love that this is something that comes straight out of Arizona. You guys are right up the road. Tell me what's going on uh, up where this is all coming at from. At the mill. At well, the mill. you know, we are right now in our growing season, but you know, we we um, we're still in we're still in our new oil festival, our blossom festival. Excuse me. So there's a lot of things going on at the mill. You know, I have music in the grove every Saturday, every Sunday. So, and we just got over our crazy Mother's Day, which was fantastic for us. So, 
Um, you know, it's, it's some place where you can just come out and have some fun on the weekends. It, you know, it takes time to get there, but when you get there, you can spend the whole day. Really have a nice time. Breakfast, lunch. Uh, on Saturdays, we're open till 9 o'clock at night for some great, crazy pizza dinners. Okay, I got to show you this now, oh, guys, goodness. because here's our frittata. It's okay. beautiful. That was so quick. I know. All right. That's, it was amazingly quick. I didn't even There's your frittata. It. Here's your potatoes. You know you guys are going to eat this, right? Look at that. Here, let me turn this up okay. a little. Rosemary potatoes. Oh is that goodness. delicious looking uh -huh. or what? I wish and you can cut that up just like this. a pizza. And it's, you're ready to just serve it. It's great for breakfast. It's so easy. Mm. And you can do that for a lot of folks. You know, it's just nice. You can just do that for a lot of folks. Cut it up. It's just, uh, it's one of those simple, simple, simple recipes. Oh, and he makes it look pretty oh. too. See, that's what I'm bad at. <laughs> is the Perry, plating? Yeah, I just, it just looks like a big mess when I put it on the plate. But I'm learning. The more that Perry comes on, the, I'm learning. Now, this is a lot of food. What if you have leftovers? Is there anything okay, like that we can I do with I was going to tell you that because this yeah. is what we used to have for lunch. My mom would take two pieces of Italian bread and she'd throw that in between it. And it'd be like having an egg sandwich oh, for lunch, yeah. because she wrapped she wrapped yeah. it up in the, the oil in the in, it was so good, so good. <laughs> oh my gosh, that sounds I'm perfect. Totally. We used to take it hunting too. See? Oh. oh. Yeah, on the, on the yeah when you're hunting, man, it's great for lunch. Who's having a frittata on their hunting trip? <laughs> Perry is. Perry is. Go that. ahead and serve this up. It's, I know yes. you guys are at Lion Cantata. Tell everybody where you're at. Exactly. We are at Lion Cantata on the first level, right next door to the Apple Store in the courtyard. Beautiful setting. We have bistro table outside. You could come in, grab a snack, sit down, um, and uh, have a nice conversation with your friend. But we're at Lion Cantata. Open mall hours. Love to see you there. This weekend, we're doing tons of peach, different peach recipes. So come. Try the peach, try the peach cappuccino. It's going to be a great peachy time. Oh, and I give a thumbs awesome. up for the peach. I tell you, I'm no joke. I put it on everything at my house. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for coming. We have bacon olive oil, too. You know that, right? <laughs> what? You, yes. you know that. You look me okay. right here. <laughs> okay. right, right here. And also, now through May 31st, with a minimum purchase of $25, you can get the Queen Creek Olive Mill Family Cookbook, which both Heather and I both own. You can get it for free. Find out more information by calling 395-0563. Or you can log on to queencreekolivemill.com. Don't forget to head up the road. Also, give them a visit at the mill.